going on YouTube? This is Dumb Hacker 1020. Don't get me started on the name. It was just a stupid name because I had to get this video out here. Because, yeah, I just need to get this video out here. But today I'm going to be showing you how to get host booters on a Mac with um, crossover. I'm not, I don't know how to get IPs on a Mac because, like, I tried downloading can enable and it really wouldn't work. So I have, I'll put the links in the descriptions for the three host booters I'm going to be showing you today. But, um, okay, so once you downloaded them, then downloaded all the programs, you're going to open up Crossover. You're going to click Install Windows Software. Wait for this to come up, like load. God, it's taking a long time. Doesn't usually take this long, but it should go faster for you. I don't know why it's taking so long for me. But okay, you scroll down all the way down here to click Authing Tool, which did not work. It was just something stupid. And I have Metis and UDP Unicorn. I'm gonna be installing UDP Unicorn first. So you just got that. See, you um, you have it all like that. Click Install and wait for it to start installing it. Okay, it's gonna install it right now, it's gonna pop up for you, it should too. Then it should look like this. I'll put the link for this in the description, like I said earlier. But um you can set your packet size, whatever. This really isn't too good of a host booter. I think NetTools 5 is better than this. I mean Metis is definitely better than both of them, but NetTools 5 is better than this one. Um but yeah, you just uh just click attack and it should start to send packets but for some reason sometimes it won't send it for me and then I'll get this error message it's kind of stupid sometimes but um but yeah that's the first booter now it's just gonna do all this refresh on the menus and all this other junk then you just click done then you click install Windows software again then click other application again click choose installer file then you're gonna go to like your name right here it'll be right here you go to downloads, then you go to Metis, and then you click on this one right here. It says 1.9 megabytes on disk, and you click use this installer, and you click install, and it'll install it for you. And then I'll show you how to use it. God, this takes a long ass time. But okay, it should be popping up any minute. Okay, see, it'll say this. It'll just come up with this little message. Then just whatever, just click out of it. Wait, did I click out of it? No, just click out of it. Okay, and the bots that you would get will be right here if you have any bots. Um, it's basically the same. You just build your server from noip.com and stuff. I'll show you how to do that later. I'll make another tutorial video. I'll do that later. But okay, now I'm going to show you how to install NetTools 5. But for NetTools 5, you don't need bots or anything at all. You just need to um, open up your web browser. I'm on YouTube.com right now because I just created my thing. And then type it in on Google. NetTools 5 right there. Just click on that. Like the first link, whatever, it will pop up. Wait for it to download. I mean, uh, load. Then go all the way down and click download. Then it should start downloading. Uh, I do suggest if you do do any host booting, you are wired. No matter what type of computer you have, should always be wired because it, um, if you send a lot of, it's just faster that way basically. But okay, it's still downloading. Then once it's done downloading, you do the same thing. Click Install Windows Software. And click Other Application again. Click Choose Installer. File, whatever you want to call it. Shit. Click click on the Setup EXE. Click Use This Installer. Click Install. And it should install for you.
Okay, now it should like come up with the installation stuff, and you click next and download it or whatever. And then at the end, you'll have to download something with WinCap and shit. Just accept the uh, uh, agreement. Just keep on kick clicking next. It really doesn't matter about the other stuff, it won't do anything. Just wait for this to be done, and as soon as this is done, it'll pop up. And then um, I'll show you what to use to boot somebody offline. What program I meant to say. Okay, now that it's going to be done, then when cap's going to pop up, then it'll tell you to install that, I believe. And then when you're done with that, net tools will pop up. Don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, yeah. See that wind cap thing? Just finish. The net tools will pop up right about now. Okay. See, it doesn't, it might not show your real IP address. It might just give you some random ass IP. But, um, to get to, like, for a host booting, I would suggest going all the way down and going to packet generator and just type in their IP right here remote port you know three the one for the Xbox I don't really remember that right now but um you type in their IP and just click click danger packet and click on this one I would suggest putting this speed all the way up to 10 and just um just click start flood and then just stop it when you're done when you're there offline or when you don't want to host boot them anymore but um Thank you, YouTube, for watching this. But um, if you do find a program to get IPs, please, like that works for you guys that you can download. Please let me know. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and like. And I'll show. I'll post a tutorial of me actually host booting if you like, or just tell me any videos that you want to know about or anything. So yeah, thanks for watching my video.